What's up guys? So, got some new updates today. I apologize for the delays. I know that this update was supposed to come out a while ago and there's big memes. Um, we'll talk about that in a sec, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to apologize for the, the update's delay and uh, it is out now. We're ready to go, ready to move on. I also uh, want to apologize for not uploading as many videos. I definitely want to start getting some more videos and some actual videos, not just these update videos that no one really cares about, no one wants to watch. Um, some actual videos, Bank Busters, Worth It, the From Scratch series, whatever. Mystery Box PK, we do we did update Mystery Boxes in this up, uh, update, so we will do a new PK video. Alright, so let's get into it. All of the chests in the Donator Store were changed, and the Donator Store itself has changed. It no longer sells any direct items. Um, back when we did the survey poll, one of the main things that was considered pay, pay to win was being able to directly purchase any item. And there were things in here that were kind of cheaty, like I know Rapier was in here at one point, Infernal Cape was in here at one point, Elijah was in here at one point. Some some really big ticket items were really made easily available. Um, so we've decided to just sell sort of chance items and other perky type items. I, I, I do want to come up with more ideas. Um, the first one was Sierra's Charm. I'll get into that in a sec by itself. But first, let's talk about the chests. So, they are no longer 1 through 7, um, and they do not need the keys anymore. The keys are completely useless. You can disassemble them for components, um, and then in a future update, I'll probably just outright remove them. So, just disassemble them or drop them or whatever you want to do. But you can now just open it, and consumables is exactly what you think it would be. It is food. So, they're not around the same, these are the same value as the ones before, they're probably not worth a dollar would, would, would to buy them, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, so the, these ones are 250, these ones are 5 piece, and then this the magic one is 7. So this one's armor, this one is weapons, uh, this one is accessories, and this one is cash, and then the magic chest, it's all of the very rares combined, but without a, um, without, uh, without like any tables. So it's just all the very rares on the exact same table. So you could get the very rare from the cash chest, or you could get a very rare from the consumable chest. So that's kind of the downside you have. I don't know why. Uh, uh, you know what? A15220. Ah. Yeah, see, memory. Jamie, number one memory guy. Ooh, large cash bank. Not bad. Uh, yeah, so they're kind of weird. A lot different from what you <laughs> what you would be expecting. Uh, I should probably make space for that stuff. I will do full proper videos on all of the individual chests, um, but that is just kind of what they do. I'll do some CAD. Don't, I d I used to have a command that was like T chest three. Oh, I do have a T. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it doesn't. It would need to be updated, but yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so Maho chest. Five? Yeah, yeah. This is the accessory one, which is like rings. Uh, you can get like the imbued. No, I don't think you can get imbued die. Uh, what's the best thing you can give? I don't even know what the best thing you can give from that is, but it's accessories. Maybe, maybe that's why I put the chronicle. I put chronicle and zombie head in one of them. I think that was that was probably that one. Mao chest six. So this is the cash one. Uh, so basically, it was cash bag, but. Yeah, you get a lot of cash. Kashish. A lot of cash. So that's that's that update. Uh, mystery boxes uh, were changed as well. I will do a proper video on all of them. Um, I'll just open a couple just so you can kind of see some of the new items that are on the table. Uh, you can see there's kind of a nice theme for from for the uh, mystery box decaying. So I did I did make sure to include some more interesting items for that. Not necessarily for the sake of that, but I definitely was considering it when I worked on the balancing so yeah that is one of the main things that was done with this update it is balancing changes the mystery box thingy that requires 25 mystery boxes uh now since they're stackable it stackable it doesn't require you to have inventory space um the odds of finding golden spears or spear parts at tuds the hunting skill box have been improved Rizalo's shop has changed let's go check a look at this uh, so there's some things missing, and a couple of new additions. It is different for me because I'm a baller. If you're a normal player, it'll show you the normal shop. If you're an Uber, it'll show you the Uber version. If you're a baller, it'll show you the baller version. At the moment, there's only two things that are added, these right here, but the intention is to add more things in the future. This is a combat XP lamp that gives you 99, so if you want to buy. It's only in combat stats, excluding health and prayer, but I, I, did, I did like the idea of adding something like that in the game. 
because I don't think it affects much if someone gets a 99 attack, and it does save whoever would want to do it a lot of time, you know, so that, that's my, that's at least my thought process on it. Um, everything else was kind of, there's, there's some things were removed, obviously there's no chest now, uh, there is a couple more legacy tickets, I think I'm seeing 10 because I'm a baller, I think there's five, I, I don't know, I can't remember, but uh, that was changed, uh, Twisted Bow now works on Izal. Um, you can now get the Wise Old Man Santa hat from Rare Boxes. King Green Dragon uh, now gives Bounty Hunter points, similar to how Vasa gives uh, raid points. It's up to 10,000 points per kill. Uh, and then Diogenes, Diogenes uh, was the Swamp Man, whatever you want to call him. His He gives Pug points. Uh, and also, he doesn't one-shot you anymore, now does 69 damage. If you are on, let me show you, I don't know if anyone's there. Likely. Well, I know they were talking about it earlier, but I don't know if they're doing it. No, it doesn't look like it. If, when he spawns the mushrooms, if you're standing on the mushroom when the little Zygomite comes out, you're going to get hit 69. I think it's when he spawns them again on the next set of waves. Yeah. So let me go... Come on, spawn a nerd. Come on, Spike. I'm just going to pee ring him before. If, you, if you're on the mushroom when it spawns, just get off of it and stand on a towel. See, 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 there you go. But I know obviously this happens and you're screwed. But if you can, get off of it and you won't take the damage anymore. So, yeah, fun fact for you. It is an avoidable hit. Yeah, see, see there we go. We didn't get hit 69. Uh, then the next, uh, really the last thing was the Sierra's Charm. That is the new item. I probably, did I? Yeah, see, there's the bug points to prove it. Uh, so this is called... See Eris Charm. How it works is you basically just have it in your inventory. And whenever you get a very rare drop, this is a drop that yells, it'll pop, giving you an extra loot. So if we put the peering on and then go kill something that jumped. Let me it's gonna take a minute. Let me let me try. Okay, so there we go. We got it to trigger, we got it, your charms vanish, leaving you the staff of light. Obviously that's a crappy item, you don't want that item, but there are a lot of decent items on that table, including stuff that has never been seen before, such as the... Let me... What is this? Unspecified. Okay, so this is uh, the list of what you can get. You can get the busts. It is rare. Um, you can get the gloves. You can get all of the possible jars. You can get some of the chests. Um, yeah. I'll sh this is this right here is the simulation of it popping. So this is kind of an inventory example of the kind of stuff you could get from it. I need to make sure I loot whatever that is. Jar of sand. Uh, so the main thing you're going for is this item called Sierra's Brew. This is the only unique or worthwhile. I, I'm going to loot all that. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So I didn't... Did I ever... I forgot to give it a thingy. It's supposed to tell you, Oh, you don't want to drink that. It's going to taste gross. But I forgot to do that. Uh, use the brew on the luck of the pug. And you will create the luck of the chows. Luck of the chows... Uh, is the best ring there is in the game. Boom. It has, uh, these are the stats. Uh, so it has more luck than the luck of the pugs, slightly more. And what it does is it has a 1 in 69 chance of doubling your rare drop. So I can't really show that on camera because that might take a while to happen randomly. But trust me that it would work. <laughs> so how it, like it would be the drop you got. So let's say, for example, it triggered on my Abyssal Whip. It would say has received one abyssal or his abyssal whip. What did we get? I thought that was mine. His abyssal whip. Oh, I mean like that. that, 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 that I thought that, that was me. That was him. Congrats, Harry. He got uh, he got he got twenty five mystery boxes from his charm. So that's not bad. Um, if you have the ring on and you trigger that the one in sixty nine, it would say you would, you could get your normal whip, um, and then you'd get another one as well, and it would have a message saying that your your ring doubled. So it's basically a ring that has a chance of double loot. It would work with any actual monster drop, so um, something like Twisted Bow, you could theoretically get the double Twisted Bow. It is a tradable ring. It's based on the Hazel Hazel Mirrors Signet ring, or whatever it's called on RS3, so I did decide to make it tradable, because that ring is tradable, and that's the inspiration for it. It is kind of a controversial item, but I thought YOLO. It is really hard to obtain. You do have to basically spend $10 or 1,000 donator credits uh, to get the charm. At the moment, there's no in-game way to get it without the store. I don't know if that's going to change. Uh, you can just get bonds in-game and purchase it that way. That's how most people will, will do it. 
Um, so it is not, it's not restricted to donators or anything like that. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts on that and the rest of the update. This is probably the first update video to ever go for the past 10 minutes. That's crazy. Uh, thanks for watching. I apologize for the lack of actual videos. I'm going to pre-record five, so you should have five in a row this upcoming five. I was gonna say week, but it's, I'm up, I'm doing this on a Wednesday. It was supposed to be Monday. Just pretend that this was Monday. Pretend. So I almost forgot. I owe you guys masa keys. Yeah, I owe everybody seven masa keys. That was for the delays. I told people I would give them one masa key for every day it was delayed. Uh, I said that because I thought it was gonna be out that day and I wouldn't have to pay out any keys. And then seven days later, the update came out. So. Uh, yeah, rip me, yay for you. How it's going to work is you have to be online to get the keys. I'm going to tell you a time in a minute. Let's figure out the time. What time are we going to want to do? Let's do, we're going to do Saturday, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Saturday the 7th. So the 7th of March. That is 3-7-2020. We will do it at, we'll do it at, uh, we'll do it at 1 p.m. server time. So when the server says, I think it'll say 1400, that's when we're going to do it. If you're not online during that time, you don't get the keys. It's going to happen very quickly, and we are going to be doing AFK checks and double account checks. Obviously, people are going to try those kind of shenanigans. Uh, go for it. We're, you might get kicked. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, that is the time. If you want the seven keys, be there or be square.